you know you can associate companies to each other through parent-child relationships? In this HubSpot hack, I'm gonna show you how to do that both manually and through a bulk import. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. So first thing you wanna do is log into HubSpot and go to your company view. And you can see here I have Simple Strat and I can see the record ID, which is gonna be important later for our, our bulk import um, parent-child associations. And you can see it doesn't have any child companies or any parent companies as of now. So I'm gonna create a new company that I'm gonna make as the child to Simple Strat. So let's just make one up here. We'll call it Simple Brat and create the company and it'll take me to that company record. You're gonna to wanna to scroll down on the right hand side and look for related companies. If you don't see it here, that means a super admin may have removed it from your account. So you'd have to reach out to them to get it back. So you can set up these associations, whether from the parent company or from the child. I'm on the child right now. So I'm gonna to wanna to add the parent company here and I can search by company name or I can search by domain. And then just like that, the parent-child relationship is set up. So some rules with parent-child relationships is that a parent company can have multiple children, actually up to 10,000 companies inside of HubSpot, but a child company can only have one parent. Now also, if a company is a child to one company, that company can also be a parent to another. Uh, to a child company. So there are multiple layers involved uh, with parent-child associations. So if I hop back to my company view, you can see now I have my two companies here and I have my child relationship and parent relationships that I can see right here uh, in my view. So now I'm gonna show you how to do this through an import. So I'm gonna wanna get my uh, Excel file open and we're only gonna do this for one company to make it simple, but obviously you could do this in bulk. That's the, the whole point of, a, uh, of doing imports is to do everything in bulk, but real simple, all we're gonna do is put in our company name. So we'll do HubSpot Hacks. And then we actually need the ID of the parent company that you want to associate this with. So we're gonna hop back over to HubSpot. We're gonna copy this record ID and then go back to our Excel workbook paste it in here and save it. So if you're doing this in bulk, I recommend doing some sort of, you know, VLOOKUP and things um, to, to easily get the setups. So you're not going from company to company, looking up ID and, and pasting it in, for example. So hopping back over to HubSpot now, we can click to import some companies. So this is just a simple import file from our computer. It's only one file. It's only one object, which is of course going to be companies. And I'm gonna choose the file. So I have my parent child import file ready and I'm gonna to click to the next step. So if you've labeled these correctly, uh, company name should already be set up here where it's going into the company properties. But for parent company ID, I wanna set it import as a company property. And then the HubSpot property, I'm gonna actually search for parent company and I get this green checkbox, I'm good to go. I can even click this to open it up and preview the company that's gonna be associated to. So once I double check everything, I can click next, confirm my import, finish it. And because it was one record, it went through pretty quick. And then I can view the companies that I just imported. So I have my three companies. Um, under Simple Strat, there are two childs. So I can see that I have HubSpot Hacks and Simple Brat, and then on these uh, other companies I just created manually and went through import, I can see who the parent um, who the parent companies are. So I hope you like this. Uh, I hope you can set up parent-child relationships inside of your portal. Let us know if you have any questions, and happy HubSpotting.